are seeing an unprecedented backlog of autopsies at the Maryland Office of Chief Medical Examiner. Yeah, the delays mean families are having to wait weeks to say goodbye to their loved ones. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs shows us the impact it's having. Uh, I don't know when it's going to revert back to what we call normal. Mortician Dennis Capel Sr. says for the last month, he's had to have difficult conversations with families. We try to calm them down by letting them know up front, you know, that this is going to be a process and it's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little extra time. He's the manager of James A. Morton and Sons Funeral Home in West Baltimore. He said an autopsy by the Office of Chief Medical Examiner used to take a day. Now it's taking up to 10. The delays are impacting funeral homes and families all across the state. Almost difficult for us to schedule a funeral, especially if the family wants to schedule the funeral within a week. At the OCME, more than 200 bodies are awaiting an autopsy. The agency, located in Baltimore, is designated by law to investigate deaths that are sudden and unexpected, result from injury, occur under unexplained or suspicious circumstances, or when a person is not attended by a physician. Families don't make that choice whether there's an autopsy done or not. A lot of times they have to do an autopsy, you know, just in case there's a, a court trial or something that they need to make sure that they they've done their part. The Maryland Department of Health says the backlog is caused by a staffing shortage and increases in murders and drug overdoses, which are resource intensive cases. Those guys at the medical examiner's office, they work very hard, you know, and they're very supportive of families and the funeral homes, you know. So uh, we know that they're moving as quickly as humanly possible. MDH has coordinated with FEMA to supply four experts to support OCME while they try to fill the vacancies. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.